My next guest has multiple specials on Netflix. Of course, you've seen him on Conan. Please welcome all the way from India, Verdas. Beer, thank you so much for, for being here. Hey, man. The show with that. It was no effort at all. I walked six feet from, from the bedroom over to this chair, and, and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> it's the easiest Put show the hat I've done. on. Yeah. No yeah. work went into this. Not this at all. great. I am not wearing underwear. There's, I haven't had a haircut in six months, and this is, uh, yeah. It's pretty easy. Are you growing the hair out? I've been growing out. I'm in that awkward, like, I just have like, uh, it's like emo face yeah, right now. I've, I've same. I'm in the, uh, I Look think I, yeah, I think I hate my parents, but I don't know. Like I'm in that phase right now. So yeah. Yeah. We don't, <laughs> we still desperately depend on them, but yeah. we hate them. I listen to five indie bands and you don't know any of them. That's the haircut. You, basically. Yeah. <laughs> we like their first stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the first thing was, we haven't heard it because our parents won't let us. Mm -hmm. But you, you sing. Did you go through an emo phase? Uh, outside of the big emo phase that the world is going through right now? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, outside of this six billion people existential crisis that we live in right now. No, it's, it's been all right. Like I, I was telling someone, I think comedians, especially like those of us who spend a lot of time on the road, we're pretty well trained for a lockdown, aren't we? Like we just... You know, we're in our hotel all day. We come out for an hour and even then we don't like the people we meet and then we live for 10 minutes and go back home. Isn't that life That's right it. now for everyone? That's it. You're on for 10 minutes. You're locked up in the hotel. It has been weird though, not having shows at night for me because you, I usually get away with like wasting the entirety of the morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, yeah, the work is at night and then 8 p.m. rolls around and you're like, oh, I didn't do anything <laughs> yeah. today. And and then you have to kind of deal with family and be like, oh, these people have dreams as well and lives that I have missed out on this entire time. But that's, that's been fun. Other people? Other people. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going crazy a little bit not being able to, to travel? Yeah, this is the longest I've been in one place in 15 years, like a decade or 15 years. So it's, you know, I've, I've gotten to know my wife again. That's been interesting. Uh, you know, it's like it's great. Did you learn her middle name yet? No, but we've unlocked like new levels of fighting, which is nice. I, I, I feel yeah? like, you know, normally we'd fight and I'd have to go, like, go on the road or we'd fight and I'd have to go do a thing. Now we fight and there's time to plot revenge and shit, man. So it's, it's like, <laughs> it's right. Fun. Yeah. I, I'm so glad you brought this up because I, this has been happy to me. I'm locked up with my girlfriend and I'll notice that I'm fighting like just because I have the time yeah. to fight. Mm -hmm. Like I before, so. I would just give up. I'm like, yeah, I, I got to go on the road. You win. You, she's going to win anyway. So it's just like, yeah, end it. But now I'm, I'm honestly, the other night I was like, oh, yeah, you would say that. You're exactly like your mom. <laughs> I don't know that to be true at all. I'm just trying to pass a Thursday. I, I think also you, you go through like five reactions to what they say. And then you kind of go, oh, COVID. And then it's done. You know, where... Because yeah, we're all saying stuff that we just like we were fighting the other day and she was like, you know what? Burn in hell, which is a very like that, that's a powerful thing to say, <laughs> you know, when, when you're fighting awful. about like Parmesan cheese or something like that. And I was just like, right, this is cheese, hell. OK, COVID. That's what this is. And then you kind of let that go. But you could just use that as a cop out for everything. Just like it's listen. Yeah, I cheated on you. But, you know. COVID. Man, I'm going to milk this thing for at least three more years. Like, as long as like, I, I don't care if I'm freshly vaccinated, I'm still milking this thing. Yeah. Are you doing the, like, are you doing the elbow when you meet people? Or are you doing like distant wave? Yeah. Yeah. So a couple of things I'm doing like the, the elbow bump. Some people are, are going for handshakes and I'm like, no. Yeah. One guy the yeah. other day, he was doing, um, I was doing this like virtual show and then mm -hmm. he was a guy checking in and anytime he went to go listen, he would pull the mask off. He'd be like, so we're just going to have you guys come in and out. And then what was that? Yeah. What was that? Like he could hear out of his mouth. What are you doing? What's the, what's the protocol? Bumps? I mean, we've had the namaste for years, right? And now there's yeah. like American people and British people doing the namaste. And I'm like, no, no, you don't get to do it. I'm sorry. This is, I, I know there's a pandemic, but I no, this is cultural appropriation. Absolutely not. We're not doing yoga. White people have wanted to do this <laughs> for forever. so long. Like mm. without signing up for yoga, you don't get to do it. No. Right. Bowing? Can you just bow? You can no bow. hands, but just bow. I don't know. I, I feel like that's too much respect to show someone. 
Like, yeah. who's the last person you met and you were like, you know what? They deserve a bow. I can't think of it. Like, what? <laughs> like, you know, this person is awesome. This is people at the gas station. <laughs> you know? Yeah, maybe. I haven't, I haven't found anyone bow worthy in a very long time. Yeah. When the lockdown happened. So, you know, in, in, in India, we have, you know, household help is a, big, is a bigger thing in India, right? So everybody has like staff. That kind of lives with them in the house. I mean, it, it's. I mean, we learned that from from you guys, but, but you kind of forgot about it <laughs> on the way, and we just kind of kept yeah. it going. But right? you you pay your staff in America. We had a lot of trouble not paying the people that worked in the house. So then, w- when the lockdown happened, we just every Indian person was like, "Look at me! I'm cleaning my own kitchen, and I'm I'm doing my own dishes, and I'm I'm sweeping my own floor, and I'm like." It took a global pandemic to make you behave like every European and every American in the world right now. There's, there's nothing special about you doing dishes. Quit posting that shit on Instagram right now. I'm suspicious of people with clean apartments. I think clean apartments should get shut down. You see someone cleaning, they're prepping for a party. Yeah, I think so. I think so. They're trying uh, to get people out. Is that not allowed over there? Are you not allowed to have like gatherings and like people over? Is that mm, not allowed? But it's also America, so. Anything that's the rule, people are like, well, it's my right. So there's a lot of states here that have not locked down at all. Like at all? For the last six months? Like they've locked down, but they've really never locked down. Like Florida never did a lockdown. Wow. Also, Florida doesn't do a lot of stuff that America does. It's really its own. (laughs) I wonder if India has a Florida equivalent. Is there a state or a region that people are just like, this is... That really Everything is we're embarrassed about. the appendix in your body, isn't it, Florida? It, it's just never worked for anything, <laughs> and you haven't been able we to. We don't need it. Yeah. We don't even know about it until it becomes <laughs> a major pain. Yeah. It could destroy the rest. No, no. I, I think, I mean, I, this is controversial, but we feel about, I, I feel like India and Pakistan feel about each other how you feel about Florida. Maybe that's the way that this goes. <laughs> okay. You know, like, yeah, so Pakistan, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Certain regions can be the Florida. Yeah, like Florida is your okay. Pakistan. Florida is America's Pakistan. That should be the flag. Yeah. That should be the tagline. <laughs> Welcome to Florida, America's Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Florida would love the comparison. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, we have this like idea of, of like everyone in India, or Indian accent, at least in media here, that everyone with Indian accent is a genius. Yeah. yeah. So, Anyone that's in, in a heist movie, which was cool when you were in that show, uh, Whiskey Cavalier, mm-hmm. spy crime show, you're yeah. in these like three piece suits. You get to actually kick ass. You're yeah. not the guy in the van, which usually you get typecast as you do. that. Yeah. Because America's just yeah. hear that, like, this guy's genius. Yeah. Yeah. Or he's in The Simpsons, but one of the two is, yeah. is the, the thing. You know, the strange thing with that is, like, I was thinking about it the other day. Uh, I don't mind that accent. Like, you know, I, I know a lot of like Indian kids who grew up in America, right? And who were like, well, I got bullied because of that accent and it propagates the wrong stereotypes. And, and I was called a poo. And, and sometimes, you know, there's a billion of us who just sit back and go, hey man, a poo isn't the Indian with the funny accent. Like you are, you know, you know like I, I know a billion people who yeah. sound like a poo, you know, and it's not strange to us at all. But on whiskey, it was kind of cool to, to have an Indian character who wasn't eager to please and have his stuff together and, you know, just doing numbers. And this was just a guy who was bad with people and, and good with guns, which, you know, some some Indians are, I think. Yeah, it's just it's just cool to see that, to go against and not, you know, see every Indian character through the white perspective of what we, you know, stereotyping yeah. things as. I think so. I think so. Because I really, really liked, I think the first thing I ever saw on you was uh, your Netflix special, mm-hmm. where right away you go, like, this, is, this is my accent. And yeah. for once, I think, I'm trying to remember the quote, I might butcher it, but the Indian accent is going to be perspective and not a punchline. A punchline. Yeah. I, I mean, that's... I'm glad to have it be that. It's important to me. And also just to show Indians as... as flawed people or people who are in doubt or people who don't have their entire lives planned ahead of them. I, I would love to see an Indian have sex on American television. And this is not because I, I haven't seen an Indian have sex or I haven't seen American yeah. television. I've just never seen those two things. Like we have a billion people. We're having sex. 
uh, and and yet nobody. I've never seen an Indian character hook up on TV. I've never seen that either. Right? They just don't <laughs> show it. I think this is. You should start doing this. I think you put oh, out some bunch of unsolicited self tapes. You edit yourself into already famous sex scenes. Yeah. You you basic instinct yourself right now. Right. Just, You're already bottomless right now. You just cross those legs. Just me with like a with a cigarette and then just two white cops on the other end who are uh, bemused instead of arresting me, which would be, yeah, <laughs> you know. A, a, You'd be applauded <laughs> as a hero and a pervert. <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. This is the direction. As your new manager, I would love <laughs> to get you on tape and expose. Well, this was so much fun, Beard. Thank you so much for, hey, for joining me on the show. It was really nice talking to you. I don't think I ever got a chance to really talk to you. I've seen all your stuff, and this was, this was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun as well. I hope to see you soon, and I, I, I hope the gigs go well, man. Like, I'm... Uh, like, I hope you enjoy it and just eat it all up. I'm back out there. I'm, I'm trying to get to India. So you're, if your people want to follow you and they want to maybe, uh, if you're starting this tour up, this is happening in January. In January, uh, I'm uh, the Veer Das on Twitter. Not, not because I'm arrogant, just Veer Das was taken. So I had yeah. to do that. Uh, Veer Das on Instagram and on Facebook. And yeah, just come see the shows. And there's two or three Netflix specials out. That people there are th- uh, three Netflix specials out. Three, um, yeah. And they're fun. So yeah, because you're at home, please check them out. I really recommend them. They're they're really great. And people have nothing but time on their hands. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You, All right. See you.